Hi friends, this is Dr. Nandi Rameshwar Rao, founder and CEO of Realtor Oxygen. First, let me thank all the audience participants who have been inspiring us, giving a lot of inspiration by seeing our videos. There are several requests coming from various uh, students and audience. So today, I thought one of the important topic for real estate business, I would like to talk on that. That is nothing but the lead generation in real estate. Lead generation, what is a lead? What is generation and how does it impact the real estate business? So once you say lead, it's a prospective buyer who is planning to buy a property and we, how do we create that lead? Today we will focus more on lead generation both offline and online. So what is the difference between offline and online? Online is what we say it as digital marketing. And offline is what is the manual method. So today I would like to spend time on both the issues. So first let me talk on offline lead generation. Lead generation is not easy. It depends upon the quality of the buyer. So lead generation is nothing but how do we create and how do we plan. So for example, I will tell you three or four manual methods to create a better leads without any competition. First, lot of people say that your phone is your lead generation. I can guarantee you in last 30 years, any person you can come across in your life is a lead generation. Do you agree? I will tell you how you should agree. Because lead generation gives various connects, various network. That is the reason I spoke on one topic. Network is net worth. Okay. So, I will give you a simple example. Once I went to a barber shop for a hair cutting in saloon. So that person knows because normally every month once or twice we go for saloon. You will surprise that that barber, that saloon person who cuts the hair, gives me a whole feedback of transaction happened in that area in that week or in that month. So I once told him I am looking for a property in Banjara Hills because I stay in Banjara Hills. I am looking at a property of 5 to 10 crores in Banjara Hills. You will get surprised. He gave me three leads. He told sir you go to the first lane, second right, third left, there is a house. So I have done a transaction. I gave him 1 lakh rupees. He was shocked. How many hair cuttings he does, he will get 1 lakh. Similarly, a istri dabba, pressing. He has a lot of leads. Vegetable vendor, watchmen, security people, swiggy boys, food panda, Zomato, Uber, car driver. Once I was going for a site visit in car, I was really shocked. Whatever site I am going to see, he has already explained the details of the site. Being a car driver, he is a taxi driver. So, if your relation is good, if you tell what is you are looking at, you can create the other method I created, I will tell you a very best classic example. The example is, once, uh, this I am talking about 2010 or so. So, there was an article in Deccan Chronicle newspaper that so and so sports cricket player has been awarded Padma Bhushan. Padma Bhushan or Padma Vibhushan. He is one of the legendary cricketer from Bangalore. So, what we have done is, our company has taught us a method where you should appreciate, congratulate that person. So we have written a simple, we found out his details of the email and we found his email, at the personal email and we have sent him a congratulation letter and in the down we have written in the signature part, we deal in so and so services, our brokerage charges are 2% plus service charge. To my shocking knowledge, in 24 hours we got a reply, thank you very much for appreciation and I am looking for a property around 5 crores in Bangalore and we close the transaction and the company has collected 20 lakhs brokerage from both the sides. So 5 into 2, 10 percent from buyer, 10 percent from seller. So one letter which is costing 5 10 rupees of an email has given us 20 lakh rupees. Can you imagine? Second method I tell. Whenever you close the transaction, have a habit of meeting the customer and give him some token of appreciation as a gift, a sweet box or anything like that. So, normally I have a habit of 
giving some fruits or dry fruits depending on the situation and the type of the buyer if it is a marwadi buyer generally they prefer for dashara or diwali they spend money and give the dry fruits as a compliment and when we go don't give this gift to your office boy or your salesman you go personally and i'll give you a classic is once i went to a golden jeweler gold jeweler who deals he lost my card because i have done a deal with 3 years back i went along with my wife to the customer he became a family friend and whenever we go we have a either a breakfast or a lunch or something he'll offer and sometimes we also comes to our functions so he told her hey, raw sir i misplaced your card actually i was looking for a 3 crores property commercial property in so and so area can you help me so that 3 crores we go we finally is a property for 3 and 1/2 crores and we collected 7 plus 7 14 lakhs plus service tax so what i'm saying lead can come from anywhere any side any corner any part of the country any part of the globe i'll give you one more example offline i've done a, a transaction of uh, a real estate residential flat in banjara hills for 1 crore 15 lakhs to a doctor fortunately what happened is after he purchasing in 6 months the road is declared from residential to commercial the property price you will not believe property price have gone up double that is 1 crore 15 lakhs has become 2 crores 30 lakhs within no time you will it happen in any bank they give you 5% for the whole annum so now the doctor purchased a bench car after the hike he came to my house he picked me up and he, we went a tour had a coffee in coffee day and they dropped me back so that is the happiness with that doctor i have done six transactions continuously in next 5 years imagine i requested him sir can i keep my visiting card box in front of your corner he has a big clinic in banjara i kept my 200 cards printed visiting cards in the reception at the billing counter through that i have done more than 10 transaction by the time the 200 cards were exhausted so this method nobody will tell you nobody can copy nobody because this is your contact your customer your owner same thing you have done with the golden jewelers whomever i do i don't run for every property a real estate broker should know where to say no and where to say yes because most of the time we fall into greediness all deals you want to do all transaction you want to do all requirements you want no it cannot be you become uh, area specific segment specific so like that i can tell you several methods once i sent uh, mangoes of 2 kg mango packed in a dabba corrugated box kept my visiting card and uh, 100 we went to a farmhouse and purchase some 400 500 kg and we have distributed personally to majority of them and met them i have spent kg 50 rupees 500 kg maybe 2500 rupees or 25000 rupees okay but after spending the 25000 i have earned to the company more than 10 crores in the form of brokerage is it possible yes it is possible so these are some of the lead generation if you interested to know more please get in touch with us we will give you more than 150 lead generation techniques which nobody can give you in the market in my training that's one of the important module we give you 100 minimum 100 plus offline techniques to generate leads and make your business successful now little part i'll come back to the digital marketing of course today's world is digital marketing manually it will take some time it will cost digitally the cost factor is low and the reach is to the across the globe it is not hyderabad it is not india it is across anywhere you can market so first basically should people should have a good visiting card properly designed with your address any broker is trying to do business without his visiting card he will not be taken into consideration because we are lot of doubt whether you will exist for next 6 months or you will run away you need to have a good office you need to have a good website you need to keep marketing in social media may it facebook instagram linkedin quora or any other site which you want to do it 
So these are YouTube is nowadays going very high. So the poster when you make the content should be very clear in digital marketing. Your pin code should be perfect. If for example I am selling a flat at Dindigal. If you address Dindigal you will not get a lead. You need to focus on the surrounding well known areas. This is one technique. Second when you market it in social media the poster has to be very clear have some lung space and a message should be very clear what is that you are trying to tell to the audience. Third in website you should have a properly designed website and it should take the load. Now people can make in WordPress, people can make in coding or different other ways. So if you make the website in WordPress, sometimes it will not support. It depends upon the volume of the business what you are doing and volume of the segment, area, geographical areas, types of real estate segments. Because in basically if you see in real estate, residential you have 10 parts, commercial you have 10 parts, a lot of people does not know. If you are talking about residential, you have an apartment in gated community, normal apartment, flat, villa, independent house, agriculture plan, residential plot, all these comes under residential. If you go to commercial, you have a retail, office space, furnished, fully furnished, bare shell, warm shell, plug and play, SCZ, industrial warehouses, go downs. So these are but you cannot market, normally one person cannot cover all the areas of the real estate. You should be specialized in one specific area, one specific segment. So now coming to digital marketing, I told you in a website, whatever you are showing, whatever you are projecting, you should be updated one, number one. Most of the time you put the property six months back and you don't remove it. People will call, when they call you, you say that this property is over. That is a basic default by the broker. Please do not upgrade your website. Now and then every very frequently whenever the property is sold please remove that property. So website should have a micro page it should redirect when somebody is looking for a gated community it should not go to commercial property. So home page you can mention all your services and in micro pages what the customer want when you put the micro pages you should always be aware of you should send the progressive sites construction today it is third floor tomorrow after fifth floor then after two months it may be tenth floor or 8th floor. So those progressive photos. Second, a clear images taken with good camera. Invest on minimum things. Don't be miser on spending on camera, spending on iPhone, spending on... Because these are the tools. A carpenter cannot do a work without these tools. Similarly, for you, these all are the marketing tools. So lead generation can be done in 101 ways. So I will not have time to discuss on all the leads. But these are the some of the leads which I have discussed in offline. Online I see the reach, Facebook campaigns, Google AdWords campaign. You should have your budget allocated. Always if you are aiming to do a 10 lakh business brokerage in the one month, you need to spend 10 to 20 percent on the marketing activities, site visits. And properly when you get a customer, how do you convert is very important. I will talk in another video because now a lot of audience are requested on lead generation. I am doing this video. Definitely I feel it should be useful and these tips can be taken into your consideration and moreover in social media it is a continuous efforts you can do it by through posters you can do it through webinars you can do it through seminars workshops open house systems so all these are methods so when you project a property please do not market any property without visiting the property number one second you meet the owner you meet the seller, you meet the buyer. Third, take your brokerage confirmation. Fourth, give them suitable properties close to his requirement. Don't give whatever junk you have with you. Shortlist, if you show too many properties, he will get confused. So if some customer has come to you for 1 crore budget, you can show him 75-8 lakhs worth and 1, lakh, 1 crore 25 lakhs. If you go 2 crores property, he will like it, but he will not buy it. So technically, when you put a property, you should have the complete project details. What is the land area? What are the permission you have? What are the number of flats? What are the amenities? What are the new facilities they are giving? All this have to be covered and projected in a good image. So the image should be done in such a way. If you do with a normal camera, normal resolution, the customer will not get attracted. The customer should be, wow, what a beautiful image. If Lakeview is there, cover Lakeview. 
If there is a high rise cover, high view. So view is very important. Greenery is very important. So these things have to be taken care. So this is what we teach in our training program that how a lead should be generated, how the marketing information should be provided in the website and how to close. You should, your advertisement should pull the customer from his house to your office. Once anybody coming to your office for a site visit, 50% of the deal is done. Please be aware of that. So thank you very much. I would feel definitely this video will help you in creating both offline and online leads. I wish you good luck. Audience who are participating and we are listening this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe this channel which will give you more inspiration. With your inspiration, I have already done hundreds of videos. I will continue to do every week one or two videos based on. Please let us know in the comment box what are the areas you are looking at and which areas you want to get educated. We will do at free of cost. You tell me your difficulty. We will solve the problem. Thank you very much.